The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are called as valence electrons. In our earlier session from Bohr-Berry's scheme of electron arrangement, we have known that the outermost shell of an atom can accommodate maximum of 8 electrons. The atom of the element with completely filled electrons in outermost shell shows little chemical activity. Those elements are called as inert elements. If the electrons are completely filled in the outermost orbits, then their combining capacity or valency is set to be zero. Among the inert elements, only helium atom has two electrons. The other elements have atoms with completely filled electrons in their outermost orbit. The atoms with completely filled electrons in their outermost orbit have tendency to react and form as molecules with the atoms of same element or different elements. An outermost shell with completely filled 8 electrons poses an octet. Hence, atoms would react to achieve an octet in the outermost shell. The definite combining capacity of an atom of the element is called as valency. The valency of an atom can be determined by the unfilled electrons in the outermost orbit. To achieve an octet, sharing or gaining or losing electrons takes place. For example, the atom of hydrogen, lithium, Sodium have an electron each in their outermost orbit, so to achieve an octet, it loses one electron. Hence, valency of those atoms is 1. In the same way, let us try to find valency of magnesium and aluminium. Suppose, if the number of electrons are near to complete full capacity, then to achieve an octet, atom takes electrons from the other atom and add to their outermost orbit. Thus, it achieves an octet. For example, the fluorine atom has 7 electrons in the outermost orbit. In this case, to achieve an octet, instead of losing 7 electrons, it is easy to add or gain 1 electron. Then valency of the fluorine atom is said to be as 1 than 7. In the same way, valency of the atom can be determined. Let us go through the valency of the first 18 elements in the following table on the screen.